Uh, Craig, your reaction then, a 2 0 win and a deserved 2 0 win against Warrington Town this evening? Yeah, it was a great win. We, it was a win we needed after two two losses away from home. Like we said before the game, a lot of different, lot of different variables for for the losses, sendings off, deflected own goals, and we needed that tonight. Regardless of how you lose, it's a, it's two losses. And tonight we were excellent. Everything I spoke about before the game, the lads put near enough to perfection, and we knew tonight was going to be a difficult game. Warren and I think it's a really good team, and I was looking forward to playing them down there. Place obviously got spoiled, so tonight. It was a hard game, but we knew that we had enough to beat them, and it was a fantastic win. You must have been impressed with the game management in particular, because we, we didn't look particularly flustered at any point in the game, for any sort of period of time. No, uh, you're always going to get chances, and, and you're always going to give chances away in this league, because there's good players in it, and, and that's what I've said. I've said it's going to happen, but as long as we can try as much as we can, cut out the mistakes as such, We'll do all right, and again, and I play one of the best teams in the league. We're in the playoffs after 30 odd games for a reason, and and we've showed how how well we can play when when things go our way as well. So it was fantastic. Who particularly impressed you tonight? I know that's, I was asked on the radio commentary about who the man of the match was, and it was it was a difficult one to call really because there's quite a few candidates. Yeah, definitely. Um, everyone, I think, Cal Morris was excellent tonight. Um, ben Ramsey as well. That's why I've been pushing Ben, and I'll keep pushing him hard. He's a young lad, and. And he needs, and he's in a good squad. And I thought he was good. 70 minutes tonight. He's learning the game still, and he's just great finisher. He's goal, and that's what we want from players like him. The, the attacking players, I want. To, that's why fans come. I want them to get, as we say, bums off, bums off seats. And and he did. The first 10 minutes, I thought we were electric, and I think that's the best we've started since I've took over. And we set the tone for the game. And then as the game was, seen the game out, we were we were brilliant. And as I said, I think we take people for granted. Laus has pulled off well. These knobs that keeps the game ticking when you need to. Ben and Con in front of him could go through the whole team. And and again, a one-off topic. I mean, one o'clock. Lauser, Lauser got kicked by a horse. I mean, that's another one to add to the list. And but fair play to Wickham. We've let us have James Anderson as well. So that's much appreciated that James has come. And he might have been called, but everyone knows what Laus is like. Not many people would have played after he got kicked by a horse in the hand, especially a goalkeeper. But he just gets on with it. And he some fantastic saves tonight. Just shows just shows what we're about. Um, last question then. Must be nice to have the home comforts. You know, we've been on the road recently, um, and we've got a second home game on Saturday, and another chance for another three points. Yeah, of course we're playing Mickelover, and I know we'd be from four 0 down there, but it's, it's not going to be the now, same though, team now. No, it's mm-hmm. exactly. It's not going to be the same team. We've drew tonight. I think that's six or seven unbeaten with five or six wins in there. So, look, I've said since day one, there's no easy game in the league, and we've. Tick Mark Warrington off, which is nice to put a tick next to a team after a couple of crosses and Mickelover on Saturday.